we are not prepared for this. It's gonna snow on Friday and we have not cleaned our stove yet. The drywall lift does not reach all the way to the ceiling. So we gotta figure out exactly how to get it up there. Good morning, guys. Welcome back up to our property up here in Southern Utah. The sun is just peeking over the mountain right now. And I think it's like 8 a.m. Today, we're gonna be starting a new project and I'm excited about it because it's super like transformative. It's gonna make our space look completely different. It is drywall. In order to pass inspection in our house to get our OC letter, we have to do drywall in the garage. So we have five inch drywall for the ceiling, half inch for the walls. And we have some friends that are gonna come up and help us. They're on their way up here right now. So I gotta get all my tools ready, grab them, get them in there. So we have everything ready to go. Let's get this going guys. Oh, it's early morning, but I'm a little chilly. I'm it's a little now. brisky out here. I'm cold. It's supposed to snow in Friday or Saturday. Oh my gosh. In two days, you guys, we don't, we are not prepared for this. I hope it's not like some crazy, I mean, no matter what, we have to wait until the roads dry out yeah. before we can do anything. Hopefully it just rains a little bit. It's not snowing, but it's going to be like 39 degrees on Saturday. The high, which is, it's in like the sixties, high sixties right now. So in two days it's dropping down like half. That's crazy. But then it goes back up. So whatever. <laughs> I'm going to get a jacket. We're just going with the flow, I guess. You ready now? <laughs> you guys know Nick and his sandwiches. So breakfast is served, egg sandwich with cheese and mayo. And then for me, some scrambled eggs. We got a lot of hard work to do today. Let's get those carbs in for Nick. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, thank you. Are we gonna be able to make it all work? so we can get up that high. The drywall lift does not reach all the way to the ceiling, so we gotta figure out exactly how to get it up there. And I think the game plan is just to lift it up as high as we can, put a ladder on both sides, lift it up the rest of the way, I think. I don't really know. We're gonna try to wing it right now. We're in an argument, because I keep telling Nick, just use the tractor and the pallet like we've done for everything else when we when we built this house. But he is not about it, so I'm gonna let him learn his lesson and use his ladder. <laughs> That face you're making right now, what is that? Yeah. I'm trying to remember what to do. Okay, we're finally getting to the second one. How long do you think it took us to put that first one up, trying to figure it all out? 20 minutes. And I gotta get it in that one? Yes. In it? But yeah, you gotta just shoot it inside. Um, we're gonna start with these ones and come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. As long as we get it tight, then we can. Easy job. <sighs> It's drywall, it is so heavy. Ah. And how are we gonna handle this garage situation with the door and all of that? That remains to be seen, we're trying to figure it out. I think we're gonna start on this side and come over and then whatever this little gap is, we're gonna fill it in and <laughs> cut out a little piece. <laughs> The project is becoming day by day, minute by minute. This is heavy. It's heavy as I'm, my shoulders are killing me.
You guys, the sponsor of today's video is FlexiSpot and we just upgraded to the ES Pro L-shaped desk that is height adjustable. This desk is where all the magic happens. I do all my research for all the projects right here on this desk and me and my wife both edit and make thumbnails right here. So whenever I'm using the desk, it's nice to raise it up a little bit. And then when she uses it, she comes over here, push a little button, raise it down to her short stature. And she does her work. This desk is super heavy duty. I weigh 200 pounds and the weight limit on this desk is 440 pounds and you can go up and down, no problem. We really enjoy FlexiSpot products. This E7 Pro desk is really gonna make doing research and editing a lot easier for us. We wanted to thank FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. Now we're gonna get back to work. Inside it. Okay, go. There we go. More, more, more. You got about a half inch. That's all you got right there. Close. That's it. It's almost perfect. You gotta go forward, forward. Okay. Now go. Okay. I like it, man. It's like a juggling act around here. Yeah. Trying to get that up there. You know, this, this garage door opener is not making it easy. Uh uh. Some assembly was required. Push, 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 Oh man, it was a long day of doing drywall. We got about a third done maybe. Yeah, third done of the whole garage, which is incredible. Yeah. Thank you so much to our friends. You know who you are. I know you don't like being filmed. So I was just looking at my phone. I just found out it's actually gonna snow on Friday and we have not cleaned our stove yet. It is all the creosote and stuff. I don't know how much buildup is in there to prevent any type of fire. And we're doing drywall the next, until it's done. So we have to do this right now. We have our chimney cleaner rod deal. So I think I'm gonna get the ladder up on the deck, go up on the roof, take the top off and clean this thing. Cause I don't wanna be freezing cold and not being able to run the stove i'd rather be a lot safer having all that cleaned out so that we feel like it's not going to start any fire or anything yeah right? i don't like, think it would i just really can't believe how fast this happened it went from 60 to 30 in 
two days. Yeah. Here it's gonna, comes snow. <laughs> I know. But it's only supposed to snow for like a day and then it's gets backed up to the 60s next week. So hopefully it'll just be it's gone. Just, yeah, like a couple days. Yeah. We're gonna grab this cleaner thingy bobber. I don't know what it's called and, uh, <laughs> and get to work. <laughs> our first time ever having to clean a chimney in my entire life. I have a kit right here and you can do it from inside the fireplace up or you can go up on the roof and go down. We only have like a 12 or 13, 14 foot chimney. So it's not going to be that big of a deal. And it's completely straight and it's on the edge of our, our drip edge on the roof. So I can just get up there because of the deck and just get up there and take the, the vent off, right? Rather than do it from the inside and have to put like a trash bag and hold everything from getting all the soot in the house. But I'm not going to do it with boots on. I'm going to put my other shoes on. <laughs> so I'll slip off. Let's get a ladder up there and then I'll change my shoes and then we can do it. We got the, these pieces out, I don't even know what they're called. But now we can shut this, go from the top, and everything just should just fall in here. We can shut the door, and then we'll just clean it out afterwards. Oh, Danny the maid can clean it? Yeah, yep. <laughs> <laughs> extra rods as we go and then also checking in there that I'm like I'm through. Getting all the way down. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna go up there. We'll see how this goes because I just love being on the roof. You know what I mean? Yeah your heights are your favorite thing ever, right? You're not scared of them at all. Yeah. We'll see how it goes, but can you hand me this stuff? Absolutely. Slippery. Really slippery. What about going on your knees? We're in coming up. There's a lot of black stuff. I think I can take this off. I thought I was gonna have to take just that one, but I think I can I can finagle it. There she goes. There it is. Oh, all right. look at all that stuff. Oh, wow. Here's your contraption. Uh, if you hand that to me, it's gonna come out of the gun. Oh, okay. So. I don't really have any hands right now because I'm filming you <laughs> and. Uh, there you go. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know how messy this is gonna be, but I wonder if I can see, I wanna see. You can see it, but. There's a lot of build up for sure. Chim chimney, chim chimney. It's probably like, like a three, a hot quarter inch thick. I have a feeling this is just gonna go everywhere. Okay. You know what I mean? Oh gosh. So now you can add chimney sweeper to your resume. Right. I think I need the drill. Okay, like the come impact? Right out of here. This thing's gonna oh, come out. you have an impact. Okay, yeah. you want the regular I want drill. The regular drill. This is gonna pop right out. Okay. All right, we found the drill, babe. We're good now. <laughs> yeah. Is that better? There we go. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there was like a quarter inch of buildup right here. Ooh, my hands are filthy. Quarter inch of buildup, and now it's all inside the bottom of our firebox down in the house. So now we gotta go clean that off. Well, that was easy. Yeah, that was way easier than, than the other. 
Whoa! <laughs> you look like a warrior right now. You got black on your face. Do I? You look like you're ready to play some football <laughs> or go to battle. Everybody makes it sound like it's such a mess. I mean, we're not done yet, but that was easy. I mean, I'm a mess, but I don't like. Oh, I'm a mess. My should hands be, are like. Everything black. should be inside that firebox, and we can just scoop it out and put it in that bucket and go dump it, and then vacuum. Okay, I don't think I'd vacuum. I, I, well, we can use that little Home Depot bucket vacuum. But you don't want to take all the ash out there. You want like a bed of ash in there to like burn with. Oh, really? You don't want okay. it all gone. Oh, okay. I was under the impression you wanted it I all. I mean, maybe since like a new season, maybe we can do that. I can't Are take you? you seriously right now with your <laughs> war paint. Okay, you did it. <laughs> all right. Let's go, Buster. Let's go see how much stuff is in the firebox here. Okay. I don't, do you need to let it settle for a little bit longer? I, mean, I feel like it's, it, there's nothing roaming around in there. Oh my oh, wow. gosh, that there's is a, black. There's a lot in there for sure. That was all, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It was so easy to clean off. Like as soon as you could like touch it with your finger and it would fall off. That's easy. Sweet. Now let's clean it up and then. Okay. Call Annie the maid and then um, <laughs> we'll be good to go. Okay. <laughs> So those of you that have chickens, just so you know, the chickens love to roll around in the ash. I don't know if they would do it in the creosote, but I do know that they like to roll around in the ash and it helps keep like the mites and everything away. Also, also, fun fact, you can use your ash and put it on a wet rag and you can clean all this stuff off. You, you can do that, Annie the maid. How about you try that? You should show all the people how cool it is. that like how often you need to replace the rope because I'm not positive on the rope. I have no clue. Pretty new. There's just a little dirty. Yeah. There, I mean it still looks good. I'm sure it's fine. Ceiling wise. I don't is it sealing well? I like mean, sealing everything in. The last time I used it, yeah. But yeah, still thick. I think we're good. Alrighty. We're ready to go. <laughs> we're ready to burn a fire and we'll probably have to burn it in like two days. two days. Yeah. yeah that's so crazy it came so fast i'm sure whatever snow comes will only be here for like a couple hours and then take off it's still it came so fast this year like summer just flew by what did we accomplish this summer like what did we do <laughs> After video, we did a lot. i know but what where did the time go I told you I got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What a good day. We did a lot of work today. We wanted to thank Flexi Spot for sponsoring this video. We'll click the link in our description, use the promo code and get 50% off their E7 Pro desk or their E7L desk. Also, they're having their fall sale right now with up to 50% off some of their stuff on their website. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in a few days. See you in a few days.